Hello everyone, welcome to Mind Your Exam channel. In this video, we will be studying about error detection using parity bit technique. Okay, so now let us first understand what is a parity bit. So parity bit is like a normal bit which has a value either of 0 or of 1. Now what will its be value? It will be decided depending upon the total number of ones in the code word okay so the parity bit can have a value of either 0 or 1 now which value it will take depends upon the number of ones that are present in the code word so one parity bit is calculated for each code word if the number of ones in a code word is even and we have to make even parity then the uh, parity bit value will be zero because already the code word has even number of ones so we do not require any other additional one so the value of the parity bit will be zero in case of even parity even parity means we want to make the total number of ones as even now Again, in the case of even parity, if the code word has an odd number of ones, then in that case, we will add a one at the end. Okay. Now, if we have to make odd parity, odd parity means we have to make the total number of ones in the code word as odd. So, we cannot change the contents of the code word. So, the only thing we can change is the value of the parity bit. So, we will count the total number of ones in the code word. If the total number of ones already are odd, we will and we want to make odd parity. So, we will add the value of parity bit as 0, otherwise as 1. So, let us take an example and see how it actually works. So, this is a code word and suppose we are considering even parity. Okay. Now, we, what we will do, whether we are considering even parity or odd parity, the first step to calculate the value of parity bit is count the number of ones in the code word. Here, the number of ones is 4. 4 is an even number and we are following the even parity rule. Since already the number of ones in this code word is even, so we will append an additional parity bit and the value of that parity bit will be 0. Okay. If suppose in this code word the number of ones would have been odd and we had to make even parity then the value of the parity bit would have been 1. So that combining the parity bit and the odd number of ones in the code word we would have gotten an even parity. Okay. Now if we are following the rule of odd parity and this is the code word. So this code word has even number of ones but we have to make odd number of ones. So the parity bit that we will append will include an, a 1 as its value because now along with the parity bit when we calculate the total number of ones it comes out to be odd number that is 5. Okay. So this is how the value of parity bit is calculated. Now a limitation of parity bit is that it can only compute or it can only detect a single bit error. Okay. It can only detect a single bit error and that too when the parity bit has not been changed. Okay. So what happens is say if there has been a change in the data or the, in the code word itself then what will happen either a 0 will become 1 and uh, uh, the parity will change because if a 0 is becoming 1 the total parity which was earlier odd will now become even okay so I will explain it again say this is the code word and an error occurs at this bit position initially there were even number of ones but when this 0 changes to 1 due to an error, there will be odd number of 1s. Then the value of this parity bit will become wrong because we were following even parity. Now there are odd number of 1s. So the value of this even uh, 
parity bit should have been 1. So if there are any single bit errors, that means if a single bit in the data gets flipped either from 0 to 1 or from 1 to 0, then the value of the parity bit will become wrong. And that is the only thing that can be detected uh, using this parity bit error detection code. We cannot detect burst errors. Okay. So what is a burst error? Burst error means continuous errors in multiple bits. Now, burst error do not mean that all the bits will be changed, but multiple bits are getting changed and all those bits combined together are making a burst error. Okay. So, for example, if this was the original data that had to be transmitted and the the, all these bits, some bits from starting from this particular one and ending at this particular zero gets changed between this starting and ending location, then we will say this is a burst error. That means multiple changes of bits are occurring at different positions. Okay. So, uh, the limitation of parity was that it can only detect a single bit error. So, what is the solution? How can we detect multiple errors or burst errors? The solution is the technique called interleaving. Now, interleaving actually says that you have to arrange your data instead of linearly start arranging your data in the form of a matrix and transmit the data in a different order than the order of the original data. So let us understand this technique one by one and how do we actually perform interleaving. So interleaving basically says that if you have uh, if you have a long data code word then what you have to do you have to calculate the parity bits in the different order than the order in which data bits are transmitted. So usually when we have to carry, calculate a parity bit what we do if this is the entire code word, then we calculate all uh, the, we, we add the number of ones present in this code word and we see whether the number of ones is odd or even. Then depending upon the parity rule that we are following, even parity or odd parity, we decide what will be the value of the parity bit. But now we do not have to calculate the parity bit in this way. This is what interleaving says. So how do we have to calculate the parity now if we want to detect burst errors? So interleaving basically says divide your data in the form of k number of rows and n number of columns. That means create a matrix of this original data which has k rows and n number of columns. Now you have to calculate the parity bit for each of the n columns. Okay. So if this was your original data, then you have to convert it into a matrix. Now I have written this complete data in the form of a matrix. So it is consisting of three rows and it is having eight columns okay so the value of k is three here and the value of n is eight so this was the entire data this particular uh, transmission i have written in the first row this particular transmission i have written in the second row and the remaining are written in the third row so uh, this is the original data that had to be transmitted we have broken down into 8 into 3 matrix 8 columns and 3 rows okay now what we have to do once we have created the matrix now we have to compute the parity bit for each of the n columns that means in here we were computing the parity bit as a single row but now we have to compute the parity for each column so how many columns are there n number of columns are there in this case which is 8 n equal to 8 so we will compute the parity vertically and calculate 8 parity bits corresponding to each column so these are the parity bits that you will get okay 
सो हाउ आई हैव कैलकुलेटेड अगेन फॉर ईच कॉलम आई हैव कंसिडरिंग वी आर फॉलोइंग द रूल ऑफ इवन पैरिटी दैट मीन्स वी हैव टू मेक द टोटल नंबर ऑफ वंस एज इवन सो फॉर ईच कॉलम आई कैलकुलेट हाउ मेनी वंस आर देयर इन द फर्स्ट कॉलम देर आर थ्री वंस थ्री इज एन ऑर्ड नंबर एंड आई हैव टू डू इवन पैरिटी सो आई विल एड अनादर वन as the value of the parity bit the second column has two ones so i add zero because it is already even similarly i calculate the parity for all the columns now let us say a burst error occurs during transmission of this data stream and the burst error affects this region okay now this region in the data matrix is lying here these are the uh eight bits that are these are the bits that are getting affected okay so these four bits and these four bits okay and let us say that the value of this bit gets changed the value of this bit gets changed and the value of this bit gets changed okay so it is a burst error because multiple errors are occurring at different positions and we want to detect this burst error using a parity bit now if a burst error would have occurred here and we would have calculated a single parity bit value we were we would not have been able to detect it because we know the limitation of parity bit it can only detect a single bit error so now what we will do we'll see that this data has now become this particular data it has a uh, errors in it so this particular bit is now uh, reversed this particular bit is reversed and this particular bit is reversed so the reversing of one bit in one column will lead to a change in the parity of the corresponding columns okay so you have to make sure here also if one bit in one column is getting changed by a burst error then you will be able to find out that if this was the original parity bits and these are the resulting parity bits then which parity bits have changed and then you will be able to find out which column has the error so this way this way of interleaving helps you to find out a uh, multiple errors or a burst error using parity bit computation okay so this was all for today's video i hope you have understood this topic and the example thank you for watching please let us know how did you find this video and what are the topics you would like to study from our channel till we meet in the next video mind your exam